Hello, I'm Argarion, and today we're back on my taco uh, deserted post apocalyptic uh, wasteland world. And uh, we're here to test something, but before we start, if you look around, you can see that the, building, the buildings are mainly built, built with uh, wood and other burnable materials. And that's because today we will be testing a flamethrower. Okay, so uh, in a second I will start spawning zombies, but first... Yeah, we need the gas mask, safety first. Okay, so uh, when I select the uh, carrot on a stick, it will start spreading flames. So uh, let's first start, test it on a couple of zombies, so we just put this cool down. Uh, and wow, oh yeah. This is quite cool. Um, wait, uh, actually, let's make the, I think it would be hostile creatures. Yeah, because uh, I'm using uh, play sound creep. Oh, play sound creeper. Um, so, yeah, as we burn the stuff, I have a couple of things to tell you. Uh, the first thing is that on the previous video I told you that I'm gonna make a special for 50 subscribers and and it the channel grows so quickly that uh, that I didn't have time to make one so uh, I, I think that tomorrow or in two days I will release a special so that's something to look forward to but uh, oh I love this so much um, so, uh, and also I had another concept prepared that was meant to be uh, released today, but unfortunately uh, I updated to the new snapshot and um, that had some nice features that I wanted to use. And it turned out that uh, this snapshot which, which had nice features also broke the system, so uh, unfortunately, we are gone. We're not gonna sing that thing uh, until it, they fix it. And I noticed that sometimes I have the, this fire dropping. Uh, I think that's I know why because I'm spreading um, falling sand that turns that is turned into uh, fire blocks. And uh, this uh, this falling sand when it falls on a slab, then it. Uh, like a uh, sand would drop, then fire drops. Okay, so uh, it was quite a nice word, and now it's burned, but I'm quite happy <laughs> because we have got this awesome flame driver. Okay, so let's let me show you the command block. Okay, so there is not really much to it. Uh, we have got a basic clock. Uh, using these two commands. Uh, you can't really see it, but yeah, it's there. And uh, the main command we are executing is um, a command testing for a, for a, if a player has a carrot on a stick in his first inventory slot and holds it, like that. And then uh, those comparators turn on, turn on and this comparator starts a clock, a redstone clock, and uh, that then plays three uh, exact same command blocks with a play sound mob creeper death nearest player, which will basically uh, make the sound like you can hear right now. Uh, now it will also run power this uh, power this clock, uh, running this command block, which will uh, constantly place a block over here which will then get immediately destroyed. And what this is, is a chunk of command blocks created by filter, uh, by a filter uh, by crushed pixel, and it will basically uh, start summoning uh, any, in anything you want in the spot you are looking at. So it, it was really useful. I would spend absolutely hours programming those command blocks if I wouldn't have this. Uh, so yeah. It's basically uh, filling all this stone, replacing all this stone with redstone blocks, and then it's, uh, it summons this uh, falling sand with tile ID 51, which is the fire ID, and yeah, it's, this make you shoot with uh, with uh, fire. Uh, okay, one more thing that I wanted to tell you that the zombies uh, weren't 
as good looking as in the shotgun video. That's because there is a bug in this snapshot that uh, that makes um, that makes wearing player heads unable for mobs. Okay, but uh, yeah, I, I think it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, there is of course a, a map download in the description. Uh, so hope you liked it and see you in my next video.